Hello, hi, I'm Shane K. Crypto Habit, and this is Backbone. Now, Backbone is a detective adventure game that's in development right now at Egnat, and they put out this, let's say, demo prologue, the first chapter of the game, so you know people can get um, excited about what's coming later on, the full release, of course. Right now, this is the prologue. We're gonna check it out together. New game. Now, in Backbone, you play this guy. He's called Howard. And he's a raccoon and also a private eye. And he smokes. And reads in the bathtub. Come on, you have to answer the phone. Come on. What are you doing? Sorry, I missed your call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Alright, just enough time to clean up. Alright, we need to... Okay, move and E to interact with objects. Okay. New object... Oh, sorry. New objective. Let's see. Tidy up before the client arrives. Uh, let's see. Some items can be picked up by pressing E. Oh, like this? Uh, o green? O G? Okay. Dangly feet. Cigarettes, of course, smokes, insurance frauds, lost cars, estranged lovers. Should probably get rid of some of these old case files eventually. Alright, let's clean up office. I like how they're all internet connected. Media set? This damn thing stopped working a long time ago. Gotta hit Frankie up next time I'm in Fussdale and when I have cash, so. Never. <laughs> of course he's not making much money. <laughs> Notes on the fridge. Call mom, buy soap, pay bills, don't die. Eh, pretty straightforward. Photochemicals? Leaving developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning. Or a great soup. Wait, what are those? Inventory. Photochemicals. Need these chemicals to turn latent images into a vi Oh, okay, for developing film. Hard to get tired of this view. It does look nice. It's kind of weird that you know people can look in and see you, you know, washing. Place dishes. I'll wash these later. Probably not. Also, he's developing the films here. Toilet. Oh, toilet books. The Great Apes. The Great Story. Swell toilet read. Before, uh, better leave it here. Oh, this is very cramped. But, I guess. Okay. Let's go back, because we, we have a client. Uh, let's put the chemicals here. Everything knows its proper place. <laughs> Alright. That must be Mrs. Green. Our client. Uh, hello? Oh, there we are. Odette. Excuse me, I'm looking for Detec Detective Lodor. We spoke on the phone. At your service, Mrs. Green. Uh, Mrs. Green, trust you've had a pleasant day. I've had better, I've had worse. Truthfully, my back's killing me today. Pregnancies are rough on the spine, let me tell you. And please, Odette is fine. Odette, how can I help you today? I, um... Well, I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. Do you suspect he's cheating? Yes, I'm pretty sure. See, he's been acting so strange lately, and every time I talk to him he gets... But no matter, I just need proof that will hold up in court. Wait. Uh, if he's indeed having an affair, I can get you what you want. Court. Oh, court, are you filing for a divorce? That's right, and above all, I need something damning enough that uh, custody won't be a question. Uh, okay, has your husband threatened to take the children? Frankly, I think that's none of your concern, Mr. Lothar. Uh, okay, well, on the contrary, this is relevant to the case. How? Well, the case has more writing on it. I need to use more resources to avoid even the smallest mistakes. Huh, he... He has threatened to take them before. 
and I've been such a coward, always gave up. But I'm done with it. Daisy and Elliot have suffered enough. I failed them before, and I'm so ashamed. I'm trying to fix this mess. Uh, okay, I know this was hard to talk about. Thank you for sharing. I'm trying to do better for the kids. Be brave. Mm. Alright, I know this is tough, but let's talk about the affair, because this is, you know, why she's here. He hasn't been hiding it well. His behavior is all abnormal. He gets home late, misses work, lies, and smells funny. Hmm, what's the funny smell? Like perfume, not mine, alcohol, smoke, and something else I can't pinpoint, but it's poignant. A kind of herbal stink. Alright, how, how do you know he's been missing work then? Apes, I feel so ashamed. He's going to get terminated if he continues like this. I've gotten calls. At first they wonder if he was homesick. I lied for him a couple of times too. Hmm, and you've caught him lying? He's bad at it, makes lame excuses about where he's been. Hmm, and what time does he get uh, home when he's late? Way past work hours, unreasonably so, and drunk. One time I stayed up and asked him what he was doing. It didn't go well. Uh, hold up, was he aggressive? I really don't think this is relevant, Mr. Lothar, and I'd rather move on. Hmm. Okay, she seems like she's been she's under the rest. So okay, let's talk case details. I need a picture and information about his routine. Of course, anything you need. What would you like to know? Hmm. What's his full name? Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jez for short. And what does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an author, of course. A bit shorter than new and kinda chunky. He wears glasses, the square kind, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black suitcase to and from work. Hmm. Where does he work? At the Wolf... Uh, Wolf Bank... Uh, at... At the Wolf Bank, on Granville. I can write the address down for you. Mm, where can I find him usually? Well, supposedly he goes to work and then comes home, but I know sometimes he goes somewhere else after work. Occasionally before, now it's become more frequent. Have you met any of his friends? I haven't met them, but he mentions some guys from time to time. Sometimes he hangs out with them after work. Hmm, okay, anyway, I'll be able to pick him out uh, out of a crowd. Well, I lay his clothes out for him every morning. He has to wear a suit for work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. Alright, that's all I need. Now uh, the awkward part. Payment. I can I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you're done. Would that be enough? Eh, I don't know. Alright, yes. Plus any unexpected expenses during the investigation. I've got a lot of writing on this and I only get one shot. Funds are limited, you know. Please be careful and don't get caught. If you do, I'm as good as dead. Wait, as dead? Well, that sounds pretty serious. What, what, what's... The husband doing really okay I understand ma'am I'll get to write on it talk soon all right we got our case find Jeremy Green and evidence of infidelity he works at the Wolf Bank at Wolf Bank on Granville it's a good place to start all right okay yes I know practice okay we're going out to Granville Smoking. Lost art. Ooh, this looks really cool. Granville. Smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food, and puke. My kind of battleground. <laughs> uh, squirrel? Hey, what's up, old man? Mm, take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy before? Nah, man, sorry. What are you, some kind of pervert? Uh... No, I'll see you. Pervert? Why would I be a pervert if I have a picture of a guy? Wait, was this? Furman and Sons? Furman, one slick silver tongued devil of a mountain lion. When I go crazy and kill someone, I hope I can afford seeing him. Ah, he's a lawyer. Okay. I really like the visuals, by the way. It, it looks great. The Great Apes, The Great Story, Documentary. A story of order, a story of courage, a story of justice. This has been running for a year now. 
Oh, I like the movies. Look at look up there. The day I bought a bike. Citizen Maine instead of Citizen Kane. Johnny and John don't drive. Uh, Anatoly. Do I know this guy? Hey, my man, where to? Hey, Anatoly, it's me, Howard. How's Estrella and the kids? Ah, Mr. Howie, come here, give me a hug. Yes, and I are good, good. We got the second lad coming up soon. Second? Wow, you guys are lucky. We are, we are. It's a big one. Yes, it's as round as a beach ball. So I tell her, woman, you get any bigger and I won't fit you in into a trunk of a car. Uh, great. Uh, can you answer a couple of questions first? Yes, yeah, such a rude face you are. What do you want? I'm looking for an author named Jez. Works at Wolfbank. Have you seen him recently? Psst, I don't know. Ty looking at the bar down the street. Have you seen him there? Now, Mr. Howie, would you let me work? You're scanning up my clients. Alright. Talk later, I guess. Oh, he, uh, he's not very helpful. Vogue. They did a great job restoring the Vogue. If people watched more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. Yeah, right, that's that's the... That's the solution to the world not being sad. Freaking uh, movies, yes. That's, that's for sure. What's this? Eden Simmons is a rising jazz is a rising jazz star. See her tonight only at Bite Club. Neat. Should I check this out once I'm done with the case? Oh wait, this is Wolfbank. All right, this is it. The place where Mr. Green works. Yep, this is where he works. Bank employees. Oh, maybe I can get some info from them. Yeah. Uh, you folks work at the Wolfbank, right? Yeah, why? I is Jez around? And who are you? Uh, so you know him. Asshole owes me some money. I've been looking for him everywhere. Hell, say hi to Derek here, because the two of you are probably not gonna see your money again. Hi Derek, when was the last time you saw him? Today, but the wind pass left early. He's scared. Uh, oh, sorry, it's the same guy talking. He's scared Derek's gonna split his wig, huh? <laughs> Did something happen at work? Heard his contact is not get contract is not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. Hmm. So, not only is he missing, he's gonna lose his job. What do you think um, he had after work? What do you say, boys? Home to his nagging bitch of a wife? To the gutter where he belongs? Only apes know. Hmm. You're an asshole, you know that. Why why would he be an asshole? Anyway, that was that that's kind of a random line. Could be uh, could he be with someone now? A girlfriend maybe? If you reckon the harlots are sort of girlfriends, then sure. Could be one of them for all I know. Did you boys spend any time with him outside work? Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday. He's not fun anymore though. Huh. The bite. Could he be there now? If he is, be sure to let him know he's as good as dead. Good luck, Rack. Sure thing. Uh, thanks for your help. Well, they did help. New objective. It seems Green frequented, uh, frequented the bite after work. Find a way into the club. Alright. Oh, it's like literally like <laughs> just next to the bank. Great. Hmm, might not quite fit in with this fancy crowd. Thankfully, I'm a charming boy. Well, you're a raccoon, you're not that charming, but okay. No winters for raccoons. Goodbye. Uh, perhaps a couple of loons would change your mind? I'd be more careful with my mouth if I were you, tiny striped man. Alright, 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 chillax, see ya. Jesus Christ. I still need to get inside. Whole shift to run. Okay. Oh wait, Ali. Wait, what was this? Luscious? Forty ninety nine for a trim? What a madman would pay for something they could do at home with a pair of scissors? I don't know. Someone who wants a a good haircut. Hmm. What do we have here? Larry. So I, I know this guy. Howard. Well, I'll be damned. Is that you? 
Larry? It's me! It's been too long, man! What's going on, man? Uh, same old, can't complain. What's going on with you? I'm happy, man. My kid kind of went downhill since then. Since then? Since when? Okay, what happened? Ran out of places to crash. What are you doing these days? Uh, I'm sorry, Larry. Yeah, not your fault. But who would have thought I'd see you again with my own eyeballs? Isn't that great? Yeah, you're right. Uh, let's talk about the game later. Let's catch up later then, yeah. Uh, actually, wait. I could use your help if you wouldn't mind. Not at all. What can I do for you? Have you seen an otter guy around here recently? What did he do? Uh, awful things to his pregnant wife, who is now struggling to get a divorce. Oh man, poor lady. What's he like? Uh, uh, she's a poor thing. He's about my height, chubby. Yeah, okay. He's, yeah, he's about my height, chubby, and wears a green hat. Haven't seen him, sorry. Hope you find him. You always knew what to do with guys like that. Come back anytime. I'm here often and hear people talk. Yeah, thanks. I'll catch you later. Bye, dude. Hmm. Art is our only salvation from the horror of existence. Who said existing is horror? Anyway. Okay, so that's an intercom. Yes, yes, no, no. So safety? Don't? What? Don't shame? My? Please? Huh, ah, hey. Anyway. So, okay, so this guy might help Larry, but... I don't know. Uh, that down is right there in the police booth. He'll eat my brains if, uh, if he sees me. Wait, why? Why would he do that? Press control to enter crouch mode. Oh, okay. So we're gonna avoid him. Downy. Huh. Weird. Quico Mart? Old Onur still tending to his shop like always. He used to give me free candy when I was a kid. I should go say hi before he gets driven out by some supermarket chain. Maybe next time. Yeah, maybe in the full game. Ooh, Mackenzie and Sons. This looks fancy. Rich people, uh, rich people clothes. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. Well, if you want something custom, Foxy Burger. Once I got punched by a guy in a fedora, who then process, uh, proceeded to puke out uh, his not nearly digested tuna, but sorry, tuna burger on my coat. Ah, the memories this place brings. Oh, it sounds like a classy joint. Bow. Right. Okay, so that's all here. Like, I can't go f anywhere else. Good day to your friend. Fancy some fresh news? Um. Yeah, sure, shoot. For a half moon, you can. Uh, half loon? Oh, half loon. You can read them all with your own eyeballs. Alright, dude. Here, here you go. Uh, what's the headline today? Front page today. Great A parade. Preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. Oh. How's business anyway? Well, you tell me. People want their damn news for free, and damn hawkers don't help any. Granville's getting full of them, and the force didn't even care. Wait. And it's. Wait. What are hawkers anyway? Funeral peddlers. They hold a rickety improvised stand around here and collect all the profits with nary a permit. Uh, why don't the cops care? Hawkers are small fish, not worth the effort unless they're right under the cops' noises. You know, there's a police booth just down Granville. I've tried reporting them before, by the time an officer gets here the hawkers are smoke. Um, and it's bad for business? It's illegal! The city won't give you a sales permit if you don't have a shop. So no permit means you're probably skipping income allowance. Why do they bother you so much? Well, hawkers don't worry about bills or allowance, you see? So they can afford to sell cheap, undercut honest businessmen like myself. Gotcha. Okay, uh, I have to go. 
Ah, uh, but my tail, that damn rodent with the seeds will be arriving any minute now. Hmm. You can be of an entitled prick? Why would you say that? Anyway, that's that's a weird line. Uh, so you're here, man. Gotta go. I'll see you around. Okay. Well, everyone has problems. Wait, wait, wait. What's this? Garbage bin. Let's see. Socks. Takeaway boxes. Sigs. Aha! Uh -huh. A ticket to the bite. Thanks, trash bin. Wait, really? Yeah. Some sort of discarded entry ticket for the bite. I mean... Okay. Great. That's... That was... Weird. Oh, wait. I need to... I found a ticket to the club that I want to go. Okay. That's very convenient. Alright. Uh, I have a ticket right here, uh, my man. What's this? Huh, <laughs> you're a funny little fellow. So I can get in now? It's a dirty piece of paper. Uh, it's a dirty piece of paper you found in a dumpster, so no. But thanks for a good laugh. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. Can I get in? No. Don't test my patience. Alright, dude, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Son of a biatch. Let's talk to our friend here. Maybe he knows a way inside. Ew, is this guy puking? Ew, the mouse is puking. I'm gonna stay on this side. Ew. So what's up, found your guy? Uh, let me see. I got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd there. You said your guy's an otter? Would've never thought to look there. Hmm... Have any ideas how I could get in? You're in luck. They're my neighbors. Let's see. They use the Sally door for deliveries, or you can ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Uh, tell me about Johnny. Squirrel kid with leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what the, the what his deal is with the bite, but he's chummy. But they're chummy. Uh, and you think he'd help? Might take some convincing, but he's chill. Bet my rings, he's easier to persuade than the bouncer. Okay, and what did you mean Johnny's chummy with the bite? He's friendly with the staff, and I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. Okay, what sort of stuff uh, does the Johnny sell? Uh, far as I can tell, you're typical like hype, catnip and shatterfang. Oh, get this, he started rolling out something called monkey butt. Oh, drugs? Who comes up with these? I mean, really, that's a name? Yeah. Uh, it's like they don't want you to do the drugs. Uh, monkey butts? Yeah. What's uh, what's this new thing's the shit? Perhaps a bit less figurative than you one might think. Stanky thing. Huh. Does it have kind of a herbal stink? Uh, I have no first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. Huh. Alright. I think the information I've milked out of you should be enough to get me into the bite. Thanks, man. Guy, you got it, Howard. It's no trouble. I welcome distraction, really. In fact, if you want to know more about the bite, all you gotta do is ask. Um, actually, that might come in handy. What do you got? Where to start? I could talk about the kind of place it is, what people do there, and some rumors I've heard about the ownership. What do you want to hear? Well, the ownership would be helpful. Who owns the place? Owners uh, Bloodworth. So, rumors, uh, so lots of rumors are floating about uh, the whole ordeal. Bloodworth. Sounds familiar. What's the story there? Crime family. Had a lot of friends in high places. Then the family head, uh, head up and dies, and the shit hits the fan. Air ended up dead, too, in the aftermath. And the current owner of the bite is a relative? Yeah, she was a cousin or something. Huh. What's she up to now? People say she's taking back the whole operation piece by piece. The bite's certainly a good place to start. Alright, well I gotta go, but uh, that's some great intel, Larry. You're pretty well informed. Try to keep my head to the ground. Come back anytime to pick my brain. Maybe I'll come in handy. Thanks, man. I really appreciate your help. See you around. Just, uh, I should help him. I should buy him, like, a drink or something. Alright, well, 
let's go talk to Johnny. And I think Johnny was the guy we talked at the very beginning. We talked at the very beginning. This guy. Hey, what's up, old man? Are you Johnny? Who's asking? Howard, nice meeting you. Are you Johnny? Fitting name for a grown-ass man in a trench coat. What do you need, man? Can you get me into the bite? Depends, why? I'm a detective. My target is inside that club. I should be honest with people, really. What? Are you serious? Prove it. Um... <laughs> Look at me, I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. Do you think I'd ask if it wasn't serious? No sc uh, no scram? No! Why would I say that? Why would it be bad? No, no, no. Hmm. Uh, I don't need to prove you anything, but I might consider not turning you to the cops if you help me out. You feel me? You feel me, dude? What the fuck did you say? I said I can st uh, still smell the stench of farmlands on you, village boy. Lead me into that club. You know what? I hope they, they gut you in there so I can wipe my feet off your disgusting pelt. Meet me at the entrance. Move! Right after you, my man. I'm really not making friends in this game. But you know what? As long as I get into the bite, that's good. Alright. Here's Johnny! Hey Johnny, where you been? Striper, you can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Thanks! Alright, we're in the club! Finally, now let's find green. Ah, oh, a lot of smoke. New objective, look at that. Find out if green was in the bite tonight and where he might have gone next. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful dog ladies. All a little too high end for my taste. Come on, dude, you, you clean up okay ish. Renee. Well, you're unusual. Uh, sorry? You're unusual, means you come with a story. I love a good story. Renee Wilson. Uh, Howard Lothar. Hmm, that's a fake name. You're too young for a Howard. What? Wait, what? No, my, my wait, no, my name's Howard. Wait, uh, maybe you're the one giving out fake names. Hmm. Uh, Calling it, that's a line. You'd have said that no matter what name I gave. Yeah, probably. You're quick? You're a wit? Guess that makes us even. Take my card. Wait, what? Oh, investigative journalist? It's a living, usually. Huh. Have you seen any author gentleman, uh, gentleman here tonight? No, but I only sat down a minute ago. Got it. It was lovely meeting you, Renee Wilson. Goodbye. Hmm. Okay, we got her card. Renee Wilson, investigative journalist. We met at a bite. Sharp wit. Seemed pleasant enough. Hmm. Wouldn't mind, you know, bumping into her later on. Colby. Hey there. You here for Eden Simmons' show too? I'm so happy to see her live, finally. Um, yeah, not really. Sorry, I'm looking for a friend. Have you seen an author gentleman? Here's his photo. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, but I wasn't paying close attention. I couldn't be sure. Uh... Alright, thank you for the time. Enjoy the show. I'm not here to, you know, talk about... Uh... I mean... She sings... I mean, nice voice, but I'm not here to talk about the act. Isn't this too dreamy? Uh, how do you mean? God, I love this music. Yeah, sorry, I'm looking for Jeremy Green, an author. Have you seen him? I haven't, sorry. Uh, alright, have a pleasant evening. Hmm. Ingrid. Hey, honey. Name's Ingrid. Can I help you with something? I'm just looking for a friend. Maybe I've seen him. Uh, he, uh, let's see. He's an author, about as tall as I am. Haven't seen any about tonight. He wears a pair of square-shaped glasses. 
Sorry, honey, I haven't seen your friend. Alright, thanks for your help. I better get going. She's a prostitute. She's definitely a prostitute. Clarissa. Bouncer. Door. Personal only, okay. Can I get in here though? Extra is restricted. Why? What's up there? VIP only. Access is restricted. Okay. Alright. Jesus, no one's helping. Maybe Clarissa? What the fuck is she supposed to be? Like a fat mouse? You look a little lost, honey. <laughs> is it that obvious? I wouldn't have bothered pointing out otherwise. <laughs> what gave me away? You've been chatting up anyone who talked to you. Uh, let's see. Well, I'll be honest. I don't think we're in this sort of establishment. The etiquette escapes me. So then what brings you here today? Not trying to stir up trouble, are you? Oh, come on. Do I really seem like the type to stir trouble? There's an old saying about books and covers, honey. One can never be too careful. Uh, with my... Wait, why the calculating interest, though? I have to take care of what's mine. Excuse me? I should formally introduce myself. I'm Clarissa Bloodworth. I own the bite. Oh, uh, I've heard that name before. Nice to finally meet you, Mrs. Bloodworth. It's Ms. Bloodworth. Uh, okay, uh, of course, excuse my manners. If I cared about manners, I would have told you so early on. So, to whom do I owe the pleasure? Hmm, Howard Lothar, private investigator. Exciting, what made you think you'd be welcome in here? Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, let's be vague, because maybe she doesn't. If she's a crime boss, she doesn't know to, need to know anything about what I'm doing. Why would I be welcome in here? Uh, I'm a guest, like every other person here. I don't think so. I would have had to. I would have to ask you to leave. Uh, maybe. Uh, we'll talk again later. Don't worry, Mrs. Loader. Mr. Loader, we'll be seeing each other again soon. Yeah. Is that a threat? I think that's a threat, right? That's probably a threat. She's threatening me, right? Alright, goodbye. What? Oh, son of a bitch, we got kicked out? The bite staff is hiding something. Find a way back inside. God frick. Okay. Ah, uh, she's hiding something. Green is there. I just need to find another way in. Okay, so we got kicked out of the freaking club. Great. Okay, let's ask Larry. Maybe he can help. How did you go? Did you find him? I got kicked out. Ah, uh, Howard. How did you manage that? I think somehow I poked the bear. The bouncer? Mm, not exactly. I met Clarissa Bloodworth. Oh man, what did you do? If she's upset, you better get used to watching your back. Yeah, you're right, Larry. I need to find a way in. in. Uh, hold up. You said you didn't uh, get uh, into cases like this anymore. Uh, let's see. Larry, what if it? What if this is the case? Something's wrong, and I need to find out. Jeez, I'd recommend against it, but you do you, man. Okay, so. Any other ways in? Alright, alright. Back door is used for deliveries and this truck right here just arrived. And sometimes I hear voices coming from the roof. They must have a rooftop door. Hmm, so it's either the back door or the rooftop. You know what? Let's go, let's go to the rooftops. Tell me about the rooftop. Well, most of these old buildings have one. Problem is, how are you gonna get on that roof? Hmm, is there a fire escape? You could give me a lift. Nah, there's no fire escape, and the bite is too high. Are there any smaller structures you can climb first? Yeah, the press stand. Oh, there. That could work. You could start with it, then go to McKenzie, then proceed along the roofs. But you should know that Bo is kind of a... a, a dick nugget. Uh, well, who is it nowadays? I'm not. Anyway, I suggest talking to him and see if he'd be up for it. Uh, yeah, thanks for your help, friend. Goodbye. Yeah, let's do that. We talked to Bo, the guy with the newsstand. 
Oh, wait, let's crouch. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, sh well, like Batman, I'm gonna go on, on the rooftops. I'm gonna watch the city from above. Okay, bow. Waxo Sur, what now? Uh, hey, bow, I was hoping I could, uh, you could help me out. Bajro, I'm quite busy. You alright? You sound irritated. Sorry, I just... It's been a slow day to begin with, and now that uh, hockey road and stealing what little clientele was trickling in. Wait, who's stealing your clients? That picker with the cart. Uh, why don't you call the police if that if what's uh, what he's doing is illegal? Are you crazy? I can't leave the stand unattended. Um. Okay. Uh, too bad. Anyway, um, I'll get out of your pelt so you can get back to work. Just going to climb the press stand really quick. Absolutely not. Do you know how much time and effort it takes to keep the stand in good condition? Uh, yeah, the stand will be fine, but in any case, I promise to pay for any damages. Let's not kill ourselves. We both know you're broke as a goose. Oh, Jesus. Okay, what if I could offer you something as collateral? My PI skills, for example? Now that you mentioned it, maybe you could help out the little issue I've been having. Uh, I'm almost uh, afraid to ask, but... What do you have in mind, Bo? Are you that picker hawker, the one with the seeds, off Granville? Can you do that? Uh, I don't want to, but fine. I'll go talk to him at least. Okay, who's he talking about? Oh, this guy? He's just a kid! Sid the kid! Feeling peckish? I've got sweet and savory, you can mix and match! Make your own trail mix? How about it? Uh, yeah, you got any... Unshelled pumpkin seeds? Of course, got salted and unsalted! Each uh, bag is worth a uh, half... Half loon. Half loon, I guess that, that's the money. But I'll give you three for a loon, it's a steal! Um, okay, I'll take one. Listen, I have a strange favor to ask. Uh, okay. Um, you got any other places than Granville where you could set up shop? Um, yeah, sure. One of the advantages of selling on wheels, I move around. Okay, I'm gonna need you to roll on to somewhere else. Wait, what? <sighs> I hate to do this, but Bo from the press stand wants you gone. Uh, well, of course he does. He found me giving a piece of uh, he he's fond of uh, giving me a piece of his mind, you know. Well, screw him. And uh, you, what are you doing running his errands anyway? Okay, truth is, I need something from Bo. He's agreed to help me out as long as I make you leave. What do you need from the old stash? Uh, I just need access to the bite shop, uh, bite to the bite's rooftop. So I need to climb the press stand. That doesn't explain anything. Why are you trying to get on the rooftop? Doesn't the building have a rooftop door? Well, uh, let's see. It's a long story, but I'd appreciate if you help me out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him all the whole thing, you know. Oh boy, I don't like where this is going. Listen, I wish I could help, but Granville's a great sales spot. I'm not gonna leave, uh, gonna leave, gonna up and leave just like that. I swear, damn stash. Ah, uh, let me see. Bo's a bigot and a bully. Well, why would... Anyway. Mm. Look, dude, I'm, I'm sorry. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Everyone's got something important. This is my livelihood, you know? Alright, listen. I'm a private eye. Really? Cool, what's the case? Alright. I'm chasing a hot lead, but I need rooftop access to continue the investigation, alright? And to get the rooftop axle, you need to go to Bo uh, to get on Bo's good side? Right, exactly. He'll only lend a hand if I chase you off Granville. Figures, are you supposed to chase me off permanently? Well, he didn't really specify. Could you just stay out of his sight tonight, please? Oh, whatever. I guess I'll call it a night. But you owe me. Thanks, man, and sorry for the inconvenience. Take care. Oh, that was nice. We negotiated. It's okay. You know what? I I I owe the kid one. That's fine. That that's a fair, that's a fair trade. Quid pro quo, you know. 
Well, what happened? I scared him off. Don't think he'll be coming back for a while. How did you do it? Uh, I threatened to turn him off, uh, to turn him to the cops. Turn him into the cops. <laughs> he won't last. I've tried that before. Well, at least he's out of my pill for a few days. Go ahead, but be careful. Thanks, man. Jesus. All right. The raccoon turns into Batman. Yes, the rooftop. I'm the king of the world. Take it, Fox Foxy Burger. <laughs> Dude, you know Leo DiCaprio. Come on. I really like the level of detail. It's 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 really amazing. The visuals are are really great, and there's so much stuff. You know, from the rain to obviously the backgrounds. You know, all the people working. Whoa, what a view. It is, it is a great view. It is a freaking great view. Wait, can I... Do I fall from here? Oh, okay. Okay, up. Climb. I mean, the city looks a little sad, but you know. Wish I could just stay up here. If only pigeons could accept me as one of their own. Yeah, right, dude. They would accept a freaking raccoon as one of their own. You eat pigeons, man! Oh, there it is. The red door. Well, the... I think that's it. Green, you bastard. You better be in there. Alright, come on. Inside the Bible. Teapot. Parsley Brew, also known as Anti-Baby Potion. Yep, bites definitely a brothel. What? Oh, the... Wait. I should stop staring at Parsley and get the hell out. They have a... An an... Like a... An anti-conception tea? Wow. This should be Bites second floor. Staff room for girls. Maybe I'll find something useful to lead me to green or some sort of evidence. Well, let's see. What do we have here? Pick up this. Happy birthday. Taking time off. Rose, give me a call. Miss you. Darling, could you take a minute to clean? More. Margo Moore. Wait, so, okay. Nothing. Okay, so what do we get here? Bag of seeds from Sid. Gift box. Found this on the staff room at the bite. Belonged to one of the girls, Rose. Okay, maybe I can use that later. Cosmetics and mirrors. Seems Odette had the right hunch. A single note on this one. Some honey for your tea. Mom swears by it. Greg. Greg. I don't know who Greg is, but I still haven't found... Wait. The stank is coming from the end of the hall. Green might be there, but I have to be careful not to get caught. Okay. Enemies can hear you when you crouch and don't see you behind dark objects. Oh, like this one? Ah, right, 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 right. I need to... Okay. I need to avoid the rat. <laughs> Private rooms where they get lap dances. I'm a natural. Just a little bit further and I'm there. Okay. There's probably gambling going on. Private room. Huh. Shit, I missed him. He's just been here. I can smell the monkey butt. Maybe he left something behind that could help Odette. Uh painting. A green tie is stuck behind the frame. What if I budget? What the? A secret lift? And green went in there. I wonder what's on the other side. Wait, let me see. Oh, green hat. That's his green hat, right? Yep. Herbs. That must be monkey butt. To be honest, I imagine something nastier than herbs, but oh boy, it stings. I like, I like the the artwork here. Okay, so I don't know how he went in this, but 
Let's go after him. I might just as well take a shot. Get in there and press a button, find a guy, or maybe something more exciting. The club is definitely hiding something. Well, it's already hiding prostitution, so that's one thing. Alright, let's follow the trail. Ooh. What the fuck is this place? What are they burning here? Clothes? What the fuck? Wait, what's my objective now? Green was here, but what was he up to investigate further into what kind of operation is going on at the bite? Scissors. Should take these in case I need to cut something to get out of here. Or someone. Jeez. Lift. Okay. A freezer? Green wanted an ice cream and went through the secret painting to get it? This doesn't make sense. I gotta keep digging. Uh, Corp board, intercom, and a door. Door is closed, but this hatch is open. I might be able to crouch and crawl through whatever other creepy fucking place awaits. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before we crawl, let's check this out. Inventory, delivery schedule. Wait, what's this? What? Greg, if you're gonna swipe stuff for the girls, you need to make a note or you mess up the inventory. Took honey. Ah. Intercom. It's an intercom connected to the other rooms in the building. Bar, freezer, packaging, kitchen. Packaging, let's call it packaging. No one picks up. Bar? Boy speaking. Hey boy! Greg, are you stuck in the freezer again? Uh, yeah. For ape's sake, call the kitchen, someone will get you. Oh. Okay. Uh, dial kitchen. Kitchen listening! Uh, yeah, yeah, it's Greg, stuck in the freezer again. Fucking hell, Greg. What are you, when are you going to learn? Hold on, I'm coming. I think someone's coming. Wait, did, and if they see me here? Uh, oh, you failed. Don't get caught next time. Oh, okay, okay. Right. So, okay, we can't get caught. Never mind. Uh, always wondered when I end up in a place like this. Yippee Kaye! Yay! Yes! McLean Three cooks I can't get caught now, I have to get out of here Okay So this one gets that Wires uh, Wait, there's a guy here I don't know why I'm cut the wires, but... Wait... Okay, I think I need to get rid of the one that's just standing there. Wait... If I call... If I call him into the freezer... Let's see... Uh, kitchen, yeah... Uh, yeah, it's Greg. Alright. So someone's coming, so I'm just gonna go... Quickly. Okay, that guy went there. Is someone gonna come after this? Okay, this guy's gonna come after this. I think they're lions. Okay, that guy's busy there. Yes. Let's go. Whew, that was close. This looks like a locker room for staff. No sign of my otter. Yet. Note. Greg, keep turnkey downstairs by your station. Nice. Thanks for being a doofus, Greg. Freight lift? Packaging lift. If only I could find a turnkey, it could lead me upstairs. Code. Purple lock. Okay. So I need the code here. 
We need to find a code. Gregory, could you maybe keep your papers on your locker? Maybe. Huh. Here's a family favorite. Apes Delight. The Citizen. Rising Star and the West pushes trawlers to final VS Starlings. Oh, like a... Pictures, the wall is an embrace. Huh. Look at this. So, okay, so this uh, this is a... Uh, this is a clue. So it's a square... Uh, wait. If you look at... Okay, so see there there's certain... Like this one, right? See the map? If you put this part over the map... You can see that there's, you know, the square, and there's a zero. So the, the square here is zero. That's for the locker. So wait, let me, okay, so it's zero. Then we have what? We have the rhombus is five. So that's zero something five. And then I guess we have this, maybe? No, not this. Um, this here, maybe? No. This one? The rising star thing? Ah, yes, okay. Wait, 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 wait. So this would be the triangle. That's one. So it's zero something five one. And I need... Mm, is it... F yeah, okay, four. That's it. See the... Okay, so it's zero, four, five, one. That's the code. To get in here. Zero, four, five, one. There we go, yes! We are inside. Oh, so fucking basement. It's super dark too. Great. This is quiet. Why is it so dark though? Well, I guess though because there was no one around. Jesus, lights. Oh my fucking what? Oh, it's a body. Uh, dude? Creed! He's dead! Fuck! What have you gotten yourself into? Someone's coming! Quick, I have to hide! Dude, oh, uh, hide, come on. So he's dead, so he went, he, okay, so he was definitely in the club doing monkey butt. And somehow he just ended up dead. Uh, well, oh, dead is gonna be okay with that, I think. Greg here. No, I'm still working on a cut. Ah, okay, coming. That's Greg, huh? Not the best employee, what can I say? New objective. Wait, what we get? Escape. Okay, that's a good objective. Key. Sorry, Jez. When you didn't... Uh, even you didn't deserve this. Nobody does. Uh, but I got the key, the turnkey. Maybe I'll, I'll make it out alive. Okay. Oh, packages? Wait, wait, what's here? Delivery order. Bite Foods LLC to Starling Cider Limited. What the fuck is this? It's flesh? Oh no. So wait, they're chopping up animals and sending them? Green's gonna be butchered for food. They're eating people. How we run right now? Run now. Okay, do chillax, but where do I go? For here? Oh, upstairs, okay. Uh, we're upstairs. Oh, back here. Oh, the turnkey. Use the lift. Yes, let's get the fudge out of here. Oh, oh we're not out yet. Shit. Shit. Out of... Oh, escape. Hello? Are we out? Or did someone just caught us and we're dead? What? 
this... Okay, I think this might be a bug. I mean, I hear the music, but... So the, the game is definitely running. Alright, so I... Guess that was it, everyone? That was Backbone, the prologue... Of uh, Backbone. If, uh... Huh, if you're interested in the game... Which, of course, you know, it's it's still in development. Let me blow the freaking volume, because it's, it's, you know, the music is nice, but I can't think straight. Uh, so, everyone, that was Backbone. Um, you can check out the prologue if you want, or, you know, if you want to show it to someone else. You can find this this demo, you know, early build, preview, let's say, on uh, Steam right now. There's a link in the description below. It's available for Windows. You can get it there, you know, maybe at least some feedback, say what you like, what you didn't like. And, um, yeah, of course, the team at Eggnut continues to work. On Backbone, which was successfully kickstarted, by the way, last year, almost a year, year ago, actually, um, and um, so so they're working on it, and uh, you know it's either gonna come out later this year or in 2020, with well, of course you know a bigger case than than you know, well it's it's a murder right now we have a murder on our on our hands. Let me just okay we we have a murder on our hands, but there, you know maybe it's, there's gonna be even more stuff that uh, that happens interestingly enough the, the game just got like a an update as i'm trying to restart it now so let's see maybe there was a fix for the end and we can check out the end together if the um let's let's see let's see if we can actually well i don't know where it's going to continue from but you know what we'll find out unreal engine yes powered on powered by unreal engine 4 looks really good i gotta say so in that regard you know no complaints, the game looks really good, literally good. Alright, press any key, let's continue, and maybe we, we're gonna get the ending to the prologue. Maybe, just maybe, just maybe, depending on where, okay. So we're here and we need to go, okay, come on, please work. Alright, maybe not. No, no luck on that. But anyway, that was, you know, no luck on that. It's uh, it's still all just a black screen. But anyway, that was it, everyone. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up, really quick. And if you like what I do here, consider subscribing. That would be actually immensely, immensely helpful. If you could subscribe, tell other people about the channel. Just spread the word. Just spread the word, cause there, there's so much content on the channel. You know, everyone will find something that they like here. You know, everyone will be able to discover cool new games here because. At this point in time, I have over 2300 videos, so you know, spread the word if you can, of course, yourself, check out the, the back catalog, and if you can, take half a minute, just half a minute to see the ways through which you can support me, they're all super important, because, you know, I'm trying to, you know, get, um, you know, kind of like a decent revenue stream going, so um, I can do this for a very, very long time, in a fruitful and entertaining and entertaining ways so uh, if you can you know you can either give me a direct donation through PayPal or you can support me with the purchases that you make on the Epic Games Store the Humble Store Fanatical all you have to do in those cases is either use an affiliate link or a creator tag it costs you absolutely nothing extra you don't pay more for the stuff that you buy you just tell that store to send me a small percentage of the money you spend so it's a win-win-win situation everyone wins um, so again Check that out, uh, and last but not least, download the Brave Browser, there's a referral link in the description. Yeah, just, uh, you know, click on it, download the Brave Browser, try it out, I think you're gonna like it, I've been using it for 3 months now. And it's been, uh, it's been an interesting, it's been an interesting ride, because, because, Brave has replaced Chrome for me, and I've been using Chrome for... Uh, I don't know how many years, pro probably more than half, well, maybe half a decade, maybe more, probably more than that. So it, it was a big deal for me to switch to something else. But uh, Brave Browser is really cool, it's based on Chromium, so it's already familiar if you use Chrome, if you use Opera. It's open source, it's uh, privacy minded. Um, the people there, you know, want to put privacy on a, on, on a higher level compared to, you know, other browsers, let's say, and uh, they have a built-in ad blocker because of that, they block trackers, so if you care about the privacy, even if you don't care, try it out, you know, it's it's always a good thing to limit the amount of information that can be, you know, uh, mined from you, with or without your consent, 
while you surf the net. So check it out, Brave Browser, link in the description. Thanks again everyone for watching and until the next time we see each other, have an awesome day!